Greetings, this is Pentium. Oh, Pentium, thank you for coming. It is my pleasure. So my main question is, uh, I'm very excited about Mikovic's, Judy Mikovic's coming out and um, the situation is much clearer now. <clears throat> Can you clarify it even more? Um, what, what is happening? There is many things happening on your world. You are in a deep state of change all around every place. Now there are some places that are changing faster than others, of course. Um, the United States is actually not the, the place that is changing the most quickly. There are other places in the world that are in, with greater enlightenment and are changing faster. I'd say, um, but let me tell you what is happening in a broader sense. Yes, enlightening is, enlightenment is coming to the world in some ways. There are those that are realizing that this is not the world that they were born into originally, and th that has been said already. But it's not that it's a political thing, it's more of a social consciousness thing. It's, they are not understanding the way that things are happening. In fact, there is much more confusion than there is clarity right now. You may think very clearly about what's happening or feel that you know the energy of change, but many people are under a state of confusion. How could this possibly happen that the world shuts down over a disease? And over a disease that doesn't seem to be killing very many people, uh, when it comes to looking at other diseases. So what is happening to us? What is going on here? And why is the world doing this? Also, there's an economic change coming. Uh, businesses are changing how they are doing business. Businesses are becoming more enlightened about what it is they need to stay alive, to stay afloat to do what it is that they need to do. So this is a time of great change for everyone. But those that are becoming enlightened in the spiritual way are the ones that are truly the, the best ones. Because this is the best time for them to make a good decision. They can see the good, the evil, the, the neutrality, the plus, the minus. It is a wonderful time to awaken, to find the truth and see the spirit because the spirit is what will help them to move forward the greatest, will help them to understand what is happening better than anything else. If they truly resonate with the light, the truth will come through. Do you agree? Oh, um... If they really resonate with the light, the truth. Um, believe that. If they really, if they really resonate with what is happening in the in the light, in with with the spirit, with all that is good, they will know the truth. Do you believe? Oh, that? you mean you mean they can channel or intuit or see the truth through the spiritual uh, means? Yes. Oh, of course, yeah. So that is what I'm saying. This is a very good time to become enlightened because there is a lot of guidance for you if you resonate where to look. And many of them are looking in the right places, finding the right things and going and having uh, their information tested and trusted by those that they, they uh, understand and the, the spirit is working through. Now, what I, questions I was, uh, would you... Yes? I, I will, sorry for interrupting. I was confused by... When, when you said the truth, I meant the secrets of the bad guys will come true to the world, and uh, that's a little different. Well, they will know that what is the truth about that as well in some ways. I mean, individual enlightenment, yes. Of course, you, you achieve individual enlightenment by focusing on the, on the positive. Of course. Um, uh, my question was about the, yeah, sorry for interrupting, but I was, I was interested in finding out more secrets about the plans of bad guys. 
Oh. But, but please go ahead. Uh, you, I interrupted you. Please continue. Well, if you want to know that, I can tell you some things about that as well. Thank you. I wasn't sure which direction to go with this because I want, if you are showing this to many people, I want them to hear the positive first and not okay, the ahead. negative yeah. first. Sorry. So therefore, the positivity comes through first. Now, what is happening with the bad guys? The bad guys are being um, tested at this point. The bad guys are also being, uh, mm, they are recirculating their theories everywhere to give themselves time to make better plans because their old plans were not sufficient. The new plans will be much more solid and take effect much deeper in the rooted consciousness of mankind. They are already working on mind control. They are already working on waves that are, that are connected to mankind that you don't even need an implant for to cause some kind of uh, mental wave disruptions. So yes, they're working on all kinds of things to get the major portion of the population under control. If that doesn't work, then they will cause the population to decrease. They want to, to decrease the population because the population is too hard to handle. There's too many for them to control. And, and as they become more and more, they are out of control and they need more control. So they would want to decrease the planet population by at least two thirds. Now, that is the bad guys, what they want to do, why they want to do it. And there are other things that they are doing as well. But on the other side of that, there's many of them being exposed for their pornographic rings, for child trafficking and human trafficking. There are things happening in that realm that are falling apart for them, but they are not really caring about that as much anymore. If they can control the entire population's minds and the entire population's actions, what, why even have these rings? They can do whatever they want whenever they want if they have that control. Why have these smaller rings in clandestine places if they don't need to? They're harder to control. They need worldwide domination. That is what they're looking for. All right, um, so I assume there is um, uh, a positive force working on the covers. Uh, I think they call White Dragon Society, and there are other, other names for that. There, there has, they have many names. Many people call them the Illuminati or the Cabal or these. No, no, no the positive of, guys. The positive yes. guys. Yes. Oh, the positive guys. The positive guys have many names as well. Uh, the light workers, the, the beings that are doing positive things from I'm here. So, no, I'm talking, talking no, I'm, about? No, no, no. From out here? Uh, among the military, there is a faction of good guys who are clearing things up. And what do you call them? Uh, I, called, uh, I heard White Dragon Society, and there were several more names, but basically, uh, among the military and um, I don't know, pow the powers, uh, who, who is doing the positive arrests? Yes. The, yes, those are Correct, White Dragon Society, yes. The thing is about that is these um, do-gooders, as you call them, are under pretty much wraps. They don't want people to know what they're doing. Their plans are important for bringing down the negativity. And so if you uh, call them out, then people will be looking for them. So we do not want to do that because we want them to succeed and bringing down as much of the negativity as possible. So I, I won't mention any more of those groups, although there are multiple ones. The thing is about that is that they, there's too few of them right now. 
um, many people are afraid to come up against the negativity because they are dangerous, well-armed, and have a great amount of followers. You may not think so, but they do. And so to work for the positive side, you must be undercover in some ways. And so that is what must happen. But they are definitely there and they are definitely moving forward. How much help do they get from the aliens? Um, they do get help from the aliens because those aliens that are on the earth that are doing positive things are some of the ones that have organized these white uh, positive groups. Okay. Now I would uh, say a great percentage of us out here cannot actually be involved directly because we're not per permitted for one thing. But the other thing is we are we're not allowed to step foot on your on your earth. Those that are grandfathered in, those that are already there, those are the ones that we're allied with, the ones that are starting these groups then we can help those that are already there, that are already on the earth with some of the things that we have. We can Excellent. do that. Excellent, so that, make, that is very clear. Now, um, I, I, was, I was having trouble to define which alien groups are controlling the bad guys. Uh, they seem like reptilian and draconian, but I'm not sure. Can you clarify that? Reptilians, greys, and some draconians on higher levels. The draconians don't get directly involved. Uh, they are more the leaders, the, the strategic minds, if you will, behind some of it, but they don't step, they don't uh, become part of the force. They are the, they are the higher thinking minds of the cabal. Uh, excellent. Um... Uh, is it fair to say that it's Draco reptilians? Are they what? Is it the, fair to say that they're called Draco reptilians, the, the force? Mm, yes. And how about Orion reptilians? Yes. How about uh, Orion Nordics? The Nords are involved to a certain extent, but only the ones that were grandfathered in at the time of separation. The time of separation is when they were forced, they forced all aliens off the planet except the ones that had been there for a long time and had been uh, proven to be positive forces for the, for the world. The rest were forced to go away and now since that period of separation, only the positive aliens that were left behind and negative as well are the ones that are on your planet. Now, you, I know people say, oh, they come and go as they please, but in fourth dimension forms, in uh, other dimensions, in holographic forms, yes, they may appear on your planet all the time, but they're not in a solid form. They're not in full uh, corporeal form, but they, they do appear there but they are not allowed to even do that. But it's hard to detect a hologram coming in. So, but it is easy to detect when bodies are coming in. Nice, that makes sense. But you know, to, to drive the situation, they don't have to be physically here, right? No. So it looks like uh, a lot of political uh, leaders, especially negative ones, a lot of negative political leaders are they seem to be behaving like they're reporting to someone above them. They are. Uh, like, yeah. Like, there, are many, there are many ships, many species out here that are allied with those that are negative on your planet. The reason for that is your Earth still has many uh, things that they want, need, and desire. First of all, the people on the planet, they would love to harvest this this planet for the people, for the DNA, for all the things that they can use from the population itself. Plus there's still gold, there's still uranium and um, other different uh, uh, 
major mineral deposits here that are very valuable to those that are off planet. And this would make a nice world for certain different species. They're also now doing, uh, trying to change the atmosphere. Uh, they have been observed doing so uh, by, uh, the very first time that was observed was in Chile. They put an ultraviolet light on a ship that was flying through the area and it was, a, it was an UFO and they photographed it for nine minutes. After about six minutes, it started releasing gases into the air. And they just witnessed it and photographed it and it has been released to the public. But there are many of these ships in other dimensions releasing gases into your world. They're trying to terraform it for their own, uh, for their own use. And so there are many negative forces at work. Right, but um, the idea of conspiracy, uh, it looks like now the plan is being executed by a lot of, a lot of cabal workers. So there is some coordination and Yes. Uh, by researching it, it looks like that coordination is not possible by humans. The humans are, the negative humans are not well, that well coordinated. So uh, my question is, is it coordinated from, uh, by the aliens? It is to some extent. There are humans involved in this coordination and organization. There are also uh, beings from underneath the earth that are involved in this coordination. They are uh, subterranean. Guys, uh, the bad guys subterranean? Many of them. Uh, what species are those? Many species, draconian, reptilian, and um, there are others as well. What are their numbers? I don't think there is a lot of them. How many of them are there, like reptilians? Reptilians are in only three different spots, but their numbers subterraneanly or only in maybe several hundreds to a thousand. So how do they, um, so are they in charge of driving the, our politicians? I mean, it looks like some people are controlled or at least get, get uh, instructions daily what to do. So who yes, is, where some people do. There are yeah. those that are looking for instructions every day. They mm -hmm. have, they go to a special free area where a frequency is released and they receive their information. So is, is this a control center localized or is it like delocalized uh, network of control? But who is in charge it has of it? To be, it has to be delocalized because uh, those that are good have also very powerful instrumentation and can pick up on all these uh, messages. They cannot, they're encrypted, but they can pick them up where they were given and when. So they can take those areas. So if, if they were to give the same uh, area, the same frequency every day, it would be found out who those people are and it would be stopped. Right. But they have to change their frequency. They have to change their locations. They have to change everything so that they can get this work done as quickly as possible. So to control the, the whole system, you don't really have to be on the planet. So some remote uh, controllers can be doing the planning elsewhere, right? That is correct. And um, I, there's, there's still draconians and reptilians. What, what's their species? Uh, and what's their species? Yeah. You mean the Zeta grays and Zeta reptilians? The, yeah. um, uh, there are other species, but you have no, um, the Aliashan Dizendi are positive and the Zespoids mm -hmm. are also positive, positive. So those two species of reptilians are not involved with the negative work, mm -hmm. but there are other, um, species from outside the, um, the, the Zaza reptilians are also bad. The Corodians are also negative, but not all of them are 
seen in your solar system, but they are communicating with it. So the mastermind is reptilian? Pretty much more reptilians and greys. Uh-huh. I was thinking the that the there is a great draconian leadership as well, but they are much fewer. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that greys were gone, but actually they are still involved, the, the, the Zetas. Yes, the Zeta greys are still involved. So are there like any names of uh, political alliances in the galaxy which are working against the planet? The Dark Fleet is, that is its full name, the Dark Fleet. They mm -hmm. do, do not go by anything else. The, uh, let's see, there are several, but there, we do not know all their names. Mm. And we don't really, uh, they're all encrypted. We hear a lot of encryption messages coming through, but it's hard to break them. And pretty much by the time you would break them, the information is uh, no longer viable. I understand. So we are dealing with an extraterrestrial attack. Yes. With the attack guided by extraterrestrials. Very interesting. There but the is technologists... quite a few out there. And there are the eighth and ninth dimensional beings that are also attacking Earth and also attacking Venus and Pleiadians. Be, for totally different reasons. They don't want control of the earth. They don't want control of anything. They want to stop the ascension because some religions that will be uh, come from the ascension, that will be born from it, are, are negative to their future somehow. And there's more to it than that, but we're not sure of all that that is. They, they're, but they're sensing that their future is um, their future is definitely being uh, damaged by our ascension. Uh huh. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, so uh, we, we are running out of time, but uh, the key question I wanted to ask um, is: the virus seeded? Is what? Is the virus being seeded by the bad guys? Is it naturally just, I mean. No, it, was, there um, is a it, it is actually um, made by humans, but with the help of aliens. Uh, the, these are two very different questions. How it, it could be naturally occurring, it could be artificial, but then is it being seeded or is it spreading out naturally? That's the question. because. When they say about the it's second wave, seeded. it's being seeded. Thank you. But partial, some of it is natural and some of it is seeded. But what happened in Italy and Iran uh, were seeds. Uh, so why don't they seed more? It's too obvious. Really? Sometimes. Well, they, but they, they didn't run seeded, out of it. Right? They have seeded more. They did seed some more, um, and but it was less obvious. That's all. Mm -hmm. Because when they sp speak about the second wave, it sounds like they already can create it. Because uh, you know, because they can create it, but will they? It depends on several things. There, from the intel that we picked up it may not be to their advantage to do it right now, to reseed it at this time, but uh, we'll see. Right, right, that's my sense too. I mean, they need, uh, they need certain tools which will be destroyed if they destroy the economy completely. Yes, correct. So far they, ha they have been damaging the planet only morally, more morally than physically. These but are only experiments. The greater things are coming. Oh, thank you for, uh, for, um, the, the, for that explanation. I was trying to be sarcastic, yeah. 
Thank you for good news. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah, I, uh, gosh. I hope that it would be that's it, uh, that we'll kind of come out clean and nice and shiny. Well, you might. No one knows the future. The future is an unknown. And therefore, you must understand that you can change it. All right. Yeah, I know they have the, uh, the capacity of creating how do you, earthquakes and other nature, uh, nature <laughs> artificial well, natural disasters. Yeah. Well, I don't, the thing is, I don't really want to be just the bearer of all bad news. I do say that there is much positivity that can come about from this. And right. there is many people on your world at this time that can take charge in a very positive way. And I right. believe that there are many positive things happening with this. And I believe that there is a, a very positive future to come from it. All right, all right. Yeah, because um, the most of that nonsense is happening because of compliance. Correct. Complicity. complicity. In some ways, yes. Complicity. When people are awakened, uh, things have changed radically. When no one is uh, trusted, believing the news, then the whole situation changes radically. Of course, but I just want to say that no one should lose hope, even though there's a lot of bad news out there, there's a lot of really good news as well. All right. Well, I have um, to go. Yes, thank you very much. It was, um, it was very helpful to, and some, some really nice information actually came through and uh, the whole message is very useful. Thank you very much. Uh, come again. Much love to you, Max, and your viewing audience. Much love. Because we really want you to succeed and to gain all the positivity necessary for defeating what is happening now. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Many blessings. Many blessings. Hello. Hey, Jim. Welcome back. Thanks. That was good. Okay, good. Gotta go, and I will talk to you in two weeks. Thank you very much. Talk, talk to you then. Have a good one. You too.